Why do something? My father asked me that. I was, I was, he was asking me, why do you bother drawing or painting? I was trying to pick up my, my habit from, from my child years where I enjoyed drawing. And he didn't see the point. And I said, why did you paint and draw all your life? And he said, I thought it meant something. He, he tried to express a meaning of uh, a feeling of emptiness. And now he doesn't see the point anymore. So without having a certain sense of meaning, there's no point in doing anything. Without having the sense of meaning, there's no point in drawing or painting or it's just, you can just as well just sit down and sit do and do nothing. So many people would say that if, pe if life is meaningless, then you'd have to find your own meaning out of nothing. Or if you have a religious leaning, or if you're a spiritual person, you would, you would want to connect with the meaning out there because the meaning is there, but we have to connect with it. So the question is, how can we connect with the meaning? And there are certain, certain attitude towards life that you can adopt that will help you do this. These nine attitudes is to have a beginner's mind. So what does it mean to have a beginner's mind? It means that you come to encounters and situations as if it was the first time, as if you didn't know anything about the people that you meet. And what's refreshing about this attitude is that people will pick up on it. They will feel that you are genuinely interested in hearing what they have to say without having preconceptions and understandings about how things are and how they are. Now, this is easier said than done. For example, try to do that to your husband, your ex-husband, your parents and your children. And you will see that you very quickly start to act in the way you usually do. So this is a kind of a practice that you have to try to do over and over again. These are seemingly easy to understand these attitudes, but to apply them is quite uh, challenging. So the second attitude is non-judging. If you have noticed, if you try to notice your own thoughts during the day and how, how you have a tendency to, to continually make your own, make up opinions about people that you cross on the street just by their appearance or by the things they say or how they dress and you should try to stop yourself and contemplate your own thoughts and and say to yourself this is not necessarily the case this is because this opens your mind up to different possibilities and 
sometimes this makes you see reality better because you see reality through your own glasses in a way. You have one perspective and it clouds reality because you don't get to see it as it is. You see it as you, through your theory of what you think reality is. So it will open up your experience of reality and at the same time when people feel that you are not judging them and you're kind of coming at them with a, an open mind, it will feel very liberating to them. They will open up to you more. So that was the second attitude. The third attitude is acceptance. What acceptance means is that you have to accept the situation the way it is. And this can sound easy, but it's often very hard because sometimes reality doesn't play out the way you would prefer it to. For example, it can be particularly hard when you have experienced something really nice maybe people gave you a lot of compliments and attention and that then they withdraw and you would you know naturally want to that situation back because it, it felt so good now now we will be temp tempted to force the situation and it will never work and it still is hard and what you should do is try to acknowledge the the loss and feel the sorrow And to do that, you will have also have to be aware of your own reaction to not wanting to accept the situation. And this is linked to the fourth attitude, which is letting go. And this is uh, kind of when you grasp and try to cling to the nice things that you have experienced or the people or the situations, you kind of want them to come back. You want them to, you want to experience it again. You want the same things again. So maybe you try to produce those situations again. Maybe you kind of trying to reconnect with people and, and uh, expect the same things to happen. And it will come out as needy and clinging and people don't tend to like that. So it will not produce anything of value for you. You will just suffer more. So. What you have to do is, just, you know, you just have to acknowledge that the suffering and then try to feel it and just suffer because the other strategy isn't working. So the fifth attitude is trust. It means that you have to try to tap into your intuition and listen to it. In life you need to find out what you what 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 the meaning in life in life is for you, your purpose. And to do that you have to to stop being busy all the time. Stop having something on the agenda all the time. If you want to try to tap into your intuition you have to um, set aside side time just to be and and then you should try to listen to what your own mind your feelings are telling you your inclinations what you what what you kind of feel like doing and then trust in your own feelings so the sixth is patience you are but one person on the globe and we are 7.7 .7 million and you're like one leaf on a big tree you and everybody's everything and everybody is connected to everything and everybody else so if you the complexity is too big so if you you try to make things happen the way you want them to be it's going to not necessarily turn out the way you expected it to. Sometimes it's just better to, you know, be know what you're here for and, you know, work for what you 
think is important and then come what may. Because you cannot control others, you can only be in control of what you, your own actions. And then that will produce the results, but in the long term and you have to be patient and not try to, to force it. And the, um, another attitude, the seventh attitude, is the, the non-striving, which is also uh, it's linked to not non-doing, like trying to not be have be striving to do something all, all the time. Just forget about the to-do list and just to try to be mindful and sit and notice the world around you instead of try to label it or kind of theorize around it or kind of apl apply your ideas to it but instead just be there and experience it because it will it will calm your mind and it will make it more receptive to what's re actually really there so you can try to meditate to 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 calm you down and and um and and, and be more instead of do more in your life that's one way of doing it so the eighth attitude is gratitude and the reason why we should try to think about what we're grateful for in our lives is that you are really privileged and only the fact that you you're born and that you're alive is a miracle and for people in the Western world that have enough food, they have shelter, they have, you know, if you have your health, you can be grateful about that. If you have uh, health, healthy ch children that are, you know, and it, it's so easy to, to focus on what you don't have and compare with others. But if you instead try to think about what you're grateful for, what you, what, what, what you have in life, you will feel happier. You will feel more contented in life. And this will also, other people will sense that too. Your energy will be more positive and people will, you know, appreciate you more. And the ninth attitude is generosity. It's the ability to appreciate other people, to 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 appreciate giving to other people and see how they appreciate it and this is linked to empathy if you are able to focus on others instead of over yourself people will tend to feel that and be and you'll have a better connection with people so these will uh, these were the nine attitudes and if you actually are if you're able to implement these in your life or if you try to implement some routines to implement these attitudes, you will notice that people respond to you more positively and that you connect better with people and it's worth trying. And you might also get a better sense of your purpose in life. So if these things are interesting to you I invite you to subscribe to my channel and please reach out if you want to um, talk and interact. Thank you.